Go to the one in session, we can see how we can fix that sometimes if you install Python on the computer and you have successfully installed it right here, but if you check for the Python version, it will say Python is not found. So, how do you actually fix this error? Well, it's super simple. About six months ago, I faced an error because I saved an Python error which is Python not found. I also tried out some YouTube tutorials, but it does not work. So I think yeah, I have to manually check, manually think about this thing. Then I think it and yeah, I just turn on a little bit of settings and yeah, it has been fixed. So today I'm gonna to be showing the experience how I fix it. First of all, make sure you have the Python setup file installed on your computer. You download it on your computer. If you haven't done that yet, you will need to visit the link in the description down below, which is the python.org. Click on Danish right here. So click on download python 3.10.4 then you got the python for me i have already downloaded it into my downloads folder so i don't need once you have downloaded the python you will need to open up control panel and you will need to locate to the programs tab you just click on uninstall a program right here then you will need to look for the python application As you can see, the Python is right here, Python 3.10.4, 64-bit edition. Right-click, then click on Uninstall. On the UAC, click on Yes. Then it will start the uninstallation process. It might take a while, just be patient, and the installation process and uninstallation process is depending on your computer's hardware. Once the Python is installed in your computer, just simply double click on the Python setup file that you have downloaded from the python.org. Then you just simply need to click on customize installation. Before that, make sure to check this add Python to path. Then click on next. Then make sure to click on install for all users. Then click on install on the UAC. Just simply click on yes. It will start the installation process. Then, if the installation has been completed, then I'll search for Python dash dash version. Then the Python version and the Python version and the Python actual app will show up as the version in the command prompt, PowerShell, or Windows terminal. It, you just simply need to enable some the functionality called install for all user, and you're good to go, and you can just go through that. Anyways, thank you for watching. My name is Ben Kisali from Tech Everything, and I'll see you all next time. Yeah, before doing the before ending the video, I would just want to check you how to check how to, I just want to show you how to check your basics Python version. Once it's installed, I will continue the video.